Hey, hey, hello everyone. So now that we have the cache done, we can check what we have simulated. And it's looking really nice, right? Okay, that's cool. So the problem now is that, for example, if we, if we pick this, I don't know, this, this frame, is that we are like creating a new geometry and we cannot export this as an Alembic and give it to our, our lighter because we are not using the same geometry. And the, 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 the biggest problem is that if we create, if, if we check the UVs with a UV quick check, we will realize that the UV is uh, wrong. Something is wrong. Can you see that? This part, this is not straight. And if we check the UVs of the original, original geometry, we will see that it's not the same UVs, okay? So how do we solve that? We're gonna solve this with a point form. So a point form, basically, we are gonna take the, the this geometry, the original one, and we are gonna take the points and we are gonna mesh it with the simulated ones. So our, our we are it's like we are transferring the animation of the simulated geometry into the not simulation not simulated geometry. Okay. So in order to do this, first of all, we need to create the node, the point, the form, and it's actually one of my fa favorite nodes in Houdini. Okay, this node need in the first input, the original geometry we want to deform. In the second one, the lattice points, which is the, the static points of the simulated geometry. And the third one is the simulated geometry. So there is another thing we need to do before, which is create a time shift. And to be sure, because sometimes we receive the original geometry with animation, now we don't need to do this time shift in this part, but it's uh, good to have to create this habit. So let's delete this channel and let's put it at 950. And let's duplicate this time shift. And let's connect it into the second one. Remember that the second one needs the static points of the simulate the geometry, but it has to be like frozen. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. And finally, the third input is for the simulated geometry. So by pressing alt, you can create this knee, this knot, and let's put it here. So now if we check the point of form, we have the original geometry. And if we check the UB quick shade, if the UVs are okay, we will see that yes, it's working. And if we move, we will see that yeah, we achieved the result. Okay, with the same shape, same wrinkles. It's cool. And it's let's let's do a test, a quick test, and let's see what happened if we connect the our shirt with our Keanu Reef model. So let's create a merge. Let's put it here. Let's connect the original collider. And we will realize that something is not great. Can you see these intersections? Okay. We are going to solve this in the next lesson. See ya.